Welcome back. Not too long ago, I made a video about some weak points that I've identified in my chess game, things that I need to work on in, to, in order to improve. Uh, this is the list that I came up with at the time. Uh, in this video, I'm going to focus on the third one on the list, which is seeing forced checkmates. And I have a few examples from some games to show you. But basically, that during games, uh, when I'm, I mean, after games, when I'm analyzing them, I often come across a place where I had a forced checkmate sequence and I just didn't see it at the time. Now, very often I knew that I was ahead or I was winning or I had chances, but I didn't see that specific forced checkmate sequence. And so the game went on. In a few times it ended in a draw, uh, a few times I ended up uh, losing and sometimes I ended up winning. Um, very often I, I do see a forced checkmate sequence and I hit it, but I think more often than not, in the middle of games, I'm missing them. And I just want to show a few examples uh, to show what I mean, and then also say what I'm working on to solve that problem. This is a position from a game uh, played not too long ago, in which my opponent blundered on this very next move. I had an advantage here, and I think my opponent knew it. They made perhaps what was known as a desperado move, but that blunder gave me a forced checkmate in seven seven moves. Now here, what I should have done was capture this pawn. But instead, what I'm seeing is my king is trapped on the back rank where so that if you know, if this rook here moves somehow off the back rank, um, I'm thinking maybe the queen will be able to penetrate here somehow or come down this way somehow. Also right here, because the rook has just moved over, I'm seeing that it's threatening my queen. It's protected by their queen and by their king. And so I need to do something right here. The correct sequence of moves was for me to capture here. This is protected by the bishop, so the king has to move out. And once the king does move out, it says now I can move my rook over to e8. And the, the opponent has several choices, uh, but... I have a force checkmate sequence basically no matter what they do. For example, uh, let's say they come here. I come down. There's a check. The king is forced here. And then I have this check. And the king is forced again to here. And now I bring the queen up. And now the king is forced here. And this is checkmate. But I'm not going to see that. This wasn't even a time trouble game. This was, you know, a game where I had plenty of time. But I didn't see that seven move sequence. Now that's not the only ones that I'm talking about because a lot of us can't see seven move checkmates. Um, but there's a lot of times that it's less than that. Now here's another game where again I had a good significant advantage. You can see from the engine that I had a minus 9.6 advantage, and my opponent blunders leaving me with mate in four. Now here, I know that I can move my knight in order to check. And in this case, it's capturing the bishop. And that's what I did. It, it opens up this check here. But I didn't know that I had mate right there coming up. Now, what my opponent did was move the king back um, to, to g1. And... I capture the knight, and that's check. Now the king only has one legal move, and that's here. And now, if I will go right here, then I have checkmate after one more move. But instead, what I saw was the free rook. And so I took it. And so now it's gone to mate in five. And, and the game went on, ended up going much longer than it should have. I did end up winning this game, but I had mate if I would have just checked right there. That left, because the bishop covers these squares, the knight covers that square. The only legal move would have been to block with the queen, and that would have been mate. And I didn't see it. But still, mate in four, okay, mate in three, that's a little, little harder to see. But here's one where I made the correct move promoted my queen and now I have mate in one my king moves there and guess what that's checkmate right there that's all I have to do that spot is guarded by the knight 
and then the queen would hit these spots, my rook is covering these spots, checkmate. But I didn't see that, mate in one. Instead, I moved there, giving me mate in two, and the game went on for quite some time. Uh, now in this one, I did end up eventually winning, but again, right here, I, I didn't see that all these squares are already blocked off and that this square right here is protected, a good pr a protected square for my queen, checkmate in one. I just I would have had it but and and again I, I, there are a couple of these that I had where I lost now what I have come up with in order to to start seeing these uh, one solution is to continue doing the puzzles on both Lee chess and chess.com a lot of those involve a checkmate in one or a checkmate in two um, and those I I've learned to take my time and look for checks and captures and threats and so I need to continue working on those um, another thing that I need to start doing is, is j during the game always looking at checks captures and threats and um, and again here I did find a check it was just the wrong one um, and I had time I had plenty of time to stop and think about the possible checks I could have moved my queen to any of these spots and it would have been a protected check I could have moved it here, but that would have not been a protected check. Uh, this would have been a check. This would have been a check. What other, what, what other checks do I have? I could have moved my knight here. That would have been a check. I could have moved my bishop here. That would have been a check. And then the one that I didn't see was this one. Right there. And that's the one that, that would have won me the game. But... Um, and, and obviously to continue to analyze my games is another solution that I've come up with. Um, if you've come up with a trick or a tactic in your training and your learning to help practice these besides puzzles and analysis and running the checks, captures, threats mantra through your head each move, please let me know in the comments. Uh, but this is definitely something that I need to work on, something that I'm missing fairly frequently. Not in every game, but I would say maybe a quarter or a third of my games. There's a place where I had a mate and uh, sometimes as few as one move like this one and just didn't see it. So that's one of the many things that I'm working on in order to improve. And thank you for watching.